Alright, this is my first art-related video. I'm going to try to narrate while I draw, so this might be just awful, but I think I'll start out with facial anatomy, because that's pretty, that's pretty much as basic as you can get. I think the most important part of being able to construct faces from the mind is to know your basic skull anatomy, so do a lot of reference drawings of skulls until you understand all the basic angles of everything especially the cheekbone that's probably one of the most overlooked yet important aspects and well pretty much everything's pretty important it's the overall oval shape of things people tend to draw it very circular at first and the jawline is also extremely important. People tend to go very narrow and just pull it up when it should be more flat. Um, what else? I'm having trouble talking and drawing at the same time, apparently. Uh, the eye opening should be very flat from this pr perspective. Ugh. People tend to do it very open when they do profile views at first they have trouble getting the right perspective down and it's just the general front of the face should be pretty flat not too much inward movement one way or the other and this area this area this area just knowing the different angles the way things curve in and out and I guess that's your basic skull. This is kind of important also, not really. It can be. So how do you translate this into drawing people? Well, it's not that hard. I think the main difference is things like the nose. Let's just make that work for us. And I guess the eye needs to be given some Sorry if I'm terrible at talking. Alright. Starting to look more like a person. Maybe we'll draw some little eyebrow in there. His mouth, obviously. Not right. So, we'll draw the lips. Not too much of a mouth from this angle. It's starting to look better round things out a little fat and a little angle I don't even know if I'm drawing a girl or a guy yet doesn't really matter too much and yeah here's that cheek line coming into importance you can do a lot with this you can dry it down do something really aggressive you don't have to show it at all if you want something very soft and rounded I'm using open canvas, by the way, in case you're wondering. It's very basic. Not much features, just simplistic brush. So, is this starting to look like a person yet? Kind of. Alright. So, as you can see, drawing skulls and being able to know how things go will really improve your skills and being able to draw faces from the mind. So here's your basic ear, which yeah, might be a little off. It tends to line up with your cheekbone, the top of it. I think my skull might be a little off. Anyway, it's starting to get somewhere. Ah, these lips are awful, but anyway, the hairline I think it's important to know the general way things work. Kind of coming up and around, receding, and then coming back forward. And back down. You can bring them out if you want sideburns. Doesn't really matter. And as I was pointing out earlier, you can kind of hit it some different lines. I guess this guy's turning out to be a guy. I'm kind of pronouncing his 
bone structure a bit more. This tends to be masculine. And wow, what is wrong with his nose? Uh, da, 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 whatever, this guy's looking ugly. Wow. Yeah, this is terrible. Okay. Ward. Oops. I think I pulled that a bit too far forward. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but that's your basic person from the mind. You can do something with the hair, I don't care. Whatever.